guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to do some fun DIY hair treatments using ingredients that you may already have at your house. If this sounds like something interesting to you, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Now this video is actually part two of the DIY hair treatments. If you haven't watched the first video, I am going to link that in the cards above. I had so much fun doing that video and the overwhelming majority of you wanted to see the additional masks. So I am going to take one for the team and we're going to do some more hair masks. I am filming this over the course of a couple of days because obviously I don't wanna wash my hair three times in one day. Here's the ones we're going to do. We're going to do an oil treatment, and why not, we're going to do a scalp scrub as well. Here's what the article says about the oil treatment. The best thing about this shine enhancer is that it requires only two ingredients, and you can swap the coconut oil for avocado or grapeseed oil. I happen to have the coconut oil in-house, so that's what I'm going to use. Let's go to my kitchen and whip up a batch. So I have a one tablespoon measure. This bottle is an old bottle that I decant my olive oil into from larger tins. I cook with olive oil constantly, so I go through a lot of it. So I'm just going to measure out one tablespoon and add that to the bowl. So we're going to add four tablespoons of the coconut oil. I'm sure that I will edit out the part where I am obnoxiously banging this spoon on the side of the bowl. Here's what the mixture looks like prior to actually heating it. I decided to go ahead and give this a light mix. I want it to be as incorporated as possible so that I can use the minimum heat in the microwave. Honestly, this looks like I could put it right in my hair as it is, but I know that my hair will benefit from the heat because that will open up the hair follicles. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this gently. I started out in the microwave at 15 seconds and it barely felt warm. I decided to go with 30 seconds. I do as a precaution just wanna see what temperature this came up to at the 30 seconds. I think that is just perfect, especially since it's very close to the normal human temperature, right? So we're going to go ahead and go on the deck and put this on. You can hear the rooster, you can hear the traffic, you can hear the lawnmower. So for that reason, I will voice over the rest of this. I started the process with clean, dry hair and a dirty shirt because I knew that this was going to stain whatever I wore. I don't even know why I bothered draping a towel over me at this point. My shirt was already ruined. I ended up taking the pour spout from an old Esalon container that I had that had a handle on it and pouring it onto my part and then working it through my hair. This was an extremely messy process and I'm really glad that I decided to do this on the deck. As you can see, this is going to take quite a lot of the solution to saturate my thick hair. I decided to gather up my ends and dip them into the container. I went ahead and did this on the other side as well because I wanna make sure and completely saturate my hair with this. As you can see in some of the shots, Oil is splaying everywhere and there was just no way around it. I really wanted to work this as evenly as I could through my hair and use every drop. I did put all of the mixture in my hair. I have very thick hair. If you have short hair or thin hair, I can't imagine that you would even need to use half of the amount. I did put it all in my hair and it is messy. I'm glad that I have an old towel and an old shirt and that I'm standing outside on a deck. If you are using this method and you're not doing it outside, I would not use this in a carpeted area. Even as I was combing the oil through, I could see the oil droplets spraying on my monitor. So definitely do this either outdoors, maybe in a grassy area, or inside of your shower. I'm going to put an old Turby Twist towel on my hair and let this sit for the recommended half an hour. The next time you see me, I will have taken a shower, rinsed this out of my hair, washed and conditioned my hair in the same method that I always do. When I saw the three hair masks in the People Magazine article, I made an assumption. I assumed that they would all be good for 
they would all be bad. That turned out not to be the case. In hindsight, I should have known better. I'm one of those people that I'll be reading a magazine and I'll see a recipe and I'll go right to my kitchen and make it. And some of the recipes that I've clipped out of People magazine were fantastic and others were complete flops. I know now that the same thing is true with this article about the hair masks. Now I'm not going to be dramatic and say that this mask ruined my hair, but I will tell you that my hair feels like a dry tumbleweed. Now to be fair, I didn't style my hair. I know what my hair looks like in all stages. And right now, in this form, it is dry as a tumbleweed. It is frizzy. I had breakage. I'm gonna come in tight and show you the texture of my hair immediately after using the oil treatment. I didn't even blow dry it. I air dried it. Let me show you how it looks. I'm hoping that my camera is picking this up adequately. My hair is so dry, so frizzy, I can see breakage. Now, of course, I could take a flat iron and make this look passable, but look at this. Word to the wise, I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend this oil treatment. For me, it was a bad experience. Now, I know that my hair is not permanently damaged and I'm not going to get too upset about that. But I just wanted to show you, my hair feels like straw. It is the complete opposite of what I expected with an oil treatment. And now because I'm a glutton for punishment, because I have to wash my hair anyway, I'm going to try the scalp scrub. And fingers crossed, I get better results. The final DIY hair treatment that we're going to do is the scalp scrub. This one I also find intriguing. And it says apple cider vinegar is great at removing product buildup, but it can irritate the scalp on its own. Mix it with honey, a natural humectant, I did not know that, interesting to know, and a fine salt for gentle exfoliation. Let's go to my kitchen and whip this up. We're going to start with a half a tablespoon of coconut oil. The article said to heat this in a saucepan. I just heated it in the microwave, it was easier. We're also going to use a half a tablespoon of honey, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then it also calls for a quarter of a cup of Himalayan salt. You can find this exact salt that you see me using at the Dollar Tree, so it makes this mask very inexpensive. We just wanna give this a very light stir. We don't want to dissolve all of the salt crystals. I do wanna point out that this concoction is put together by the celebrity colorist, Katie Lee. I'm hoping that I have better luck with this one than the oil treatment. I have my hair wet in a towel. Of course you would do this in the shower, but I wanted to be able to demonstrate this. Wet your scalp, then begin to work the formula in from your hairline back to the nape of your neck. I made sure that my hair was completely saturated before I started to massage this onto my scalp. You'll notice that I am only concentrating on my scalp. I am trying not to put this on the ends of my hair. I'm very curious if the salt in this mixture will dry my hair out, but I know that there are some hair care products that contain salt, like sea salt spray for texturizing, so who knows, maybe this will work out. It says that it's going to remove product buildup, and I feel certain that I have product buildup in my hair, so I'm very curious to see what this looks like after I wash condition and style my hair. I want to give you a couple of my very first impressions. I do not mind vinegar and the smell of this is nearly overpowering. This was also by far the messiest to apply. I thought when I started out with the first one with the avocado and banana that that was a mess. This one is much more of a mess. The salt is falling from my hair all around me by my feet. The smell of vinegar is nearly overwhelming. I have to say that unless this treatment does something amazing for my hair, I cannot see doing it again. But I'm going to keep an open mind. 
Maybe it's going to make my hair fabulous. Let's find out. This is a little bit of a surprise to me. I thought for sure that this salt scrub would make my hair even worse than the oil treatment. My hair feels really good. In order to compare apples to apples, I used the exact same method that I always do when I wash my hair, the same shampoo, the same conditioner. I also stuck with the Irresistible Me compact dryer and the Irresistible Me flat iron. As you can see, I have not used the root cover. You can see the egregious line of gray on my hair. Just like with the moisture mask that I shared with you in the original video, and I'll try to remember to link that in the cards above, my hair feels super clean Clean, super soft and has some bounce to it. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.